Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button, please. Hit that notification button and bell so that we can notify every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. So like I said, in today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things that I want to get into. I started peeping a situation last night, or yesterday, I should say. It went into the night. It calmed down. And then this morning, I went to go take a spill to see if anybody had said anything new and nothing was about. So I decided to say, okay, I guess it's safe to talk about this subject now. I want to talk about the situation between Ari Fletcher, Moneybag Yo, and I'm not sure what this young lady's name is, her real government name, but it's one of Moneybag Yo's baby mothers, and her name on Instagram is Juicy Baby. These women got into it, and allegedly it started from Ari wearing a t-shirt that says, his ex is my biggest fan, and I'm not sure if, you know, Miss Juicy Baby thought that Ari was talking to her. Because in return, she did wear a shirt and post, and it said, tell your boyfriend to stop calling me. These ladies went back and forth, disrespecting each other, calling each other out their names, saying just bad things that, honestly, two women should not be saying to each other, and two women of color really shouldn't be saying to each other. And the most disheartening a uh, sad, sick thing that took place to me was you had both of these women arguing online. You had Moneybag Yo saying that, you know, basically don't include him or nobody was talking about you. I don't even know what his comment meant and who specifically he was talking to. Because when I went to go look for it, he deleted his, you know, his comment. And it was just like you had to catch it from when it was caught. You know what I'm saying? But this is what I want to say. Is Moneybag Yo and Ari together or is she about to have this hot girl summer? Because the last couple of, you know, posts that I had seen, she was going to have this hot girl summer. She was single and la 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 la. Like, so I'm trying to figure out, are you two together or not? That's the number one question. And I think that that's the main question. Number two, she alleges that this woman had been stalking her for the last five years and all this other kind of stuff. Well, if this woman was stalking you particularly, how come you didn't have a conversation with Moneybag and tell Moneybag, if anything, put your people in check. If you got a baby with this lady and she going to be a part of your life, then you need to put her in check. She shouldn't be checking for me. It should have been something established. You know what I'm saying? And that doesn't seem like it happened or if she did say that to Moneybag, he definitely didn't do a good job at all. And maybe it's because there's so many of the baby mothers. I'm not sure. But I'll tell you one thing. I don't like how many baby mothers he has. But, and I'm not talking about Moneybag, yo. I'm talking about Mr. Nick Cannon. But what I will say is. He makes sure that all of his children are taken care of, even though he doesn't have to, because once you get over or 10 children, you don't have to pay child support anymore. So he does have that going, even though he takes care of all of his children. And I'll tell you one other thing. Nick Cannon has it to where all his women knew and know, except I'm just going to say it is. <laughs> MC3 was the only one who wasn't down with this effery, as she should not have been because she was his wife at one point. They were like real serious and they had the twins. They had the first set of children, you know what I'm saying? All the other women that come after MC3, is like they know they spot, they know they space. And honestly, none of these women are catty. None of these women get online and argue with each other. None of these women do any of this kind of nonsense. So Nick has a, 
hey, he, he doesn't keep them in check, but I think that is so much of a respect factor when it comes to the situation that they have that nobody wants to disrespect anybody. Everybody is happy. Everybody is settled in their own lane, as it should be. He, you know, people need to really, if you're going to be in situations like this, it needs to be like this. And at the end of the day, everyone should think about the children and not the selfs. The children. Those are the, mo the main part. Adding on to this, what I want to say is this. You women are going to have to be a part of each other's lives because Moneybag Yo has children with this Miss Juicy Baby. And because he is, like I said, I'm not sure if he's with Ari right now or what the case may be because they're on and they're off and they're on, on, on. So I'm not sure. But whatever the case may be, it's not... People were saying that they're tired of Ari, and I I, I I can see why they would say that. Um, and especially from past relationships with the uh, women, they feel like, you know, she kind of feels like she's dominant. But I feel like if she's with Moneybag right now and has been with him for, a, you know, a minute, she should feel like that. She should feel like she's top tier, especially part of his life. Um, of course, the children come first, but these other ladies or whatever, like... And if you know that he's going back and playing with old women who he has children with, I wouldn't take that because that's what Miss Juicy is a legend. She's a legend that money bag yo keep coming back to her. But then this is what I don't like. You wear this shirt. Both of you guys are ridiculous with these shirts. But you wear this shirt and you say, tell your boyfriend to stop calling me. First of all, her boyfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got to pause because I'm like, I don't even know why the hell she would say that because her boyfriend is going to have to call you and deal with you until that boy turns 18 and then some. And I don't even know why we keep saying, oh, until the child turns 18 because you deal with the child until the child, until you die, until your child die, or until one of y'all just decide that y'all don't want to deal with the kids no more. You feel me? But straight up, he's going, she's going to have to deal with calls from money bag so that way they can talk about their child. So that shirt was hella stupid. She was trying to hurry up and make a comeback, and it was stupid as hell. The main concern that we all wondering is who the hell was making their shirt so fast to where they, they turn around time was, I need the shirt made. They put got the shirt made, put it on, boom, it's on the net. That's our biggest thing what we was trying to find, really, is who's in hell in charge of making these damn shirts because they fast as hell, boy. But it's like... When you're in a relationship like this and dealing with somebody who has multiple kids and then you have a child yourself, as far as Miss Ari, you're going to either have to deal to get along with all these women, you're going to have to either stay away from all these women, or you're going to have to just know your space and just don't even respond back to what they got going on. I'm not sure why she decided to put that shirt on to kick it off and to start it, allegedly, and I'm not sure if it was anything going on on Twitter prior hand, you know what I'm saying? But it's like these two don't like each other. I'm not sure why... Ari feels like this lady is stalking her. And it's like, if you are stalking her, like, cut it out. But then again, I don't kind of see how it can be stalking. But then again, I'm not there. But I'll say this. I don't see how it can be stalking when this lady is going to have to be around you. Or not necessarily you, but she's going to have to be around your man. And she's going to have to be around their child that they have together. So honestly, this just all boils down to money back. If you didn't feel comfortable in that first year, that second year, that third year, ain't no way I'm F6. I will wait until year five to be like, you've been stalking me for five years. And if I'm as big mouth as I am, I'm probably going to already going to put my hands on you or something like that. It's going to be something to get handled. Now, a lot of people are like, you know, this lady look like she might be a match for Ari. But all you other birds, even if he is going to you, and I don't think that that's whatever. I, if it is, it's wrong. And honestly, if he is going back to the side ladies or going back to, you know, the baby mamas, you're a baby mama, and you're not in a relationship with him. He doesn't post you. Ari is still up on his page regardless if they're together or not. And for you to be talking like that just makes it seem like you're the side chick to a woman who's in a relationship with your baby daddy. And why would you want to be a side chick to your baby daddy? I, that, ooh, I just thought about that. You are actually, you know, being a side chick to your baby father wow that's honestly that's a new low i ain't even gonna lie because she could have said anything else 
And I'm up here trying to, you know, lightweight, not even defend her, but I'm trying to make sense of the whole situation. Like, baby, you got a kid with him, so we know you're going to be part of this man's life in X, Y, and Z. But I just thought about that. You know, up here, you guys put going back and forth, put on these damn shirts. It don't matter. You are acting like a side chick to your your baby daddy. That's, that's, that's a new one. Okay. Now, before I end this video, I did go take another quick look before I conclude and I do see that Miss Juicy Baby is asking recently, this morning, if anyone is able to create her to mix and master or do something with a song. I basically, I think that she's about to try to make a diss track towards Ari. And I'm going to wait. And I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated. Y'all drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video respectfully.